This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then. Cross touch your eyes. So the winning run is at second base with two out. Three and two to Mookie Wilson. Little roller up along first. Behind the bag. It gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight and the Mets win it. Wow, man. I, I, I actually remember that moment in time right there. Mookie Wilson, legendary baseball player, is, is here with us today. Give him a round of applause. Absolutely. Right. What's up, Mookie? How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing fine, man. Thanks for having me here. Oh, man. I, 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 listen, man, you, 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 you're, you're a hero. You know, you're a hero. Uh, what you've done on the baseball field and off the baseball field. And, you know, I, I have to tell you, Mookie, I'm a I'm from Oakland, California, so I, I, I naturally, <laughs> you, you know what I rock with, Mookie. Yeah, yeah, I'm an Oakland A's fan, man, but you yeah, know. Well, well, that don't make you a bad person. That, <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to do that. You're a guest on the show this morning, so uh, you got a new book. Heather B. was just telling yeah. me about the new book. Yeah, it's called Life Baseball in the 86 Mets. So what I find interesting, Sway and I were talking about you before you walked in this morning, and we were trying to find words to describe you. I said, Sway, it didn't matter if you were a Mets fan or not, Mookie Wilson was just beloved. And I think your personality just radiate across baseball. People just loved you, even if they weren't a Mets fan. So I just want to salute you and congratulate you on that. But I'm curious yeah. as to how did you become a stolen base king? Because to me, <laughs> there has to be something shady in your DNA to be the king <laughs> of stolen bases. And I want to know how you get good. And, and your brother as well. You got yeah. good at stealing, ba you know, stealing yeah. bases. Yeah, it was just one of those gifts, you know. Um, you know, when you're able to run, and I was blessed to have some speed. And um, uh, look, I didn't make it to the big league because I could hit. All right, let's let's be honest about it. Okay, it wasn't because I, my legs has been my biggest asset, mm -hmm. and I just found a way to make that work for me. And um, you know, you know, stealing is not all bad, it went, and contrary to what people think. <laughs> but I, I made it work for me, and it, it's you know, it's um, it's worked well for me over the years. I also noticed too in a lot of your interviews uh, prior to today as well, just watching your career, you seem very spiritual, and I just just wanted to know like. Is that something you were raised, like your family? How did that tie into your career as well, you know, being a spiritual person? Well, I'm from South Carolina, all right. And um, my father, we did two things. We played baseball on Saturday and went to church on Sunday. <laughs> now, there was no no <laughs> debating. There was no option. You yeah. know, that's what we did. So I was raised in the church. Mm. And um, it's something that actually helped me through pro bowl. I mean, as you know, I mean, it's a, it's a lot going on out here. Yep, yep. And it kept me grounded. And, um, you know, it's, it's something that you just can't, you, the Bible says, you know, you train a child in the way you go when he's young and yeah. when he gets old, he will not depart. Well, that's true because mm -hmm. I went through some stuff, you know, and um, I always find my way right back to the church. Um, and right now I'm an ordained minister. Oh, you're ordained oh, minister. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Oh, All right. Yeah. That's even great. Yeah, so, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> your sermon doesn't deal with stealing bases or nothing, right? So, <laughs> but, you know, but, but, Actually, I bring that up a lot of times. Uh, you steal it? <laughs> Thou shalt not steal, Mookie. How, how do you explain that? Uh, the, the, the title of the book is Life, Baseball, and 86 Mets. You know, when we look at baseball today, man, you know, as great of a sport as it is, there is a lot of controversy that surrounds it, especially when it comes to the use of, like, you know, uh, muscle enhancements yeah, or steroids. steroids. Yeah. You know, um, was that – did you see that around at the time you were playing? And what are your thoughts on that? You know, some of these guys who break these records – it turns out that they were using these supplements. What are your thoughts on that? Well, when I was growing up, when I was coming through baseball, you know, at pro level, um, I was really naive to the steroids, you know, and, 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 and the PDs and everything else they got going on out there, yeah. you know. Guys trying to get ahead, trying to get an advantage. It would be naive of me or anyone else to think that steroids is something that just popped up in the last three or four years. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's being naive, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. But uh, I think that baseball has really... Um, it's come to focus based on some cases, you know, mm -hmm. um, Barry Bonds for one, yeah. the most popular case that's been out there. And it, it, it's a part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's a part of the culture now. People have to understand it's a part of the culture that we have to deal with. We have to mm. find a way to clean it up. Is it ever going to be cleaned up? Look, there's always ways around everything, as you know. You yeah. make a rule, someone is going to find a way to get around mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, it's something that we have to deal with. And um, it's, it's unfortunate, but it should not take away from the great game. And that's what scares me. This book, um, do you touch on everything? It's, it's life baseball yeah. in the 86 Mets. You talked about the challenges you faced yeah. 
Do you touch on all those things? Oops. I actually try to touch them without going too deep because I want to leave something for the next book. So, but okay. anyway, my homecoming. <laughs> 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 but but I, I do. I, I touched on um how I had to deal with racism uh-huh. coming through. See, people don't understand. You know, people think you know, well, nah, there's no way you can. Be, oh yeah, I had to deal with racism mm-hmm. and 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 the struggles that I had. Um, you know. Living in living conditions, you know, no running water, outdoor mm. toilets. People don't know what our house is these days. Yeah, you know, yeah. They don't have no idea, no concept. Yeah. And um, I, I felt that I could really explain to people because I've lived it. You know, I've been refused housing yeah. and, and everything. I, mean, I wouldn't be served in restaurants. And, and you know, and that, that's that's real. And to our young brothers and sisters out there, yeah. they don't think that's real. That was real. That's yeah. the real world. You know, you go to a doctor, he look at you, mm, take two pills. Don't put his hand on it. And that, that's, that stuff you experience is embarrassing. It's humiliating. Yeah. And, and the part of the book, I want people to understand that I'm not, I haven't always been the happy go lucky guy that people see me and feel. I had to go through some stuff and endure. Wow. Buki Wilson has joined us. If you want to talk with him, 888 742 3345. His new book is Mookie Life, Baseball, and the 86 Mets. Uh, you can find that now, right? On Amazon.com oh, yes. and or, or go to your local bookstore and pick it up. Can you join us? We got some more sports coming up. Yeah. Man. All right, what we got, Heather B? Man, I have to tell you all about an NFL player who's been charged with murder. Sway in the morning, Shane. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I don't believe what I just saw! It's Sway in the Morning Sports Report on Shade 45. All right, 53 minutes into the hour. We're joined by uh, Mookie Wilson. He has a new book, Mookie, Life, Baseball, and 86 Mets. And he's here with us live right now. Yes. Okay. Got lucky in 86, but he's here with us right now. That's that hate. <laughs> better, better lucky than good, man. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm not mad. Got, got you here right now. Uh, we got Cliff from Canada on the line. Say hello to Mookie. Cliff, what's up? Mookie, what's going on, guys? I'm doing fine, Cliff. How you doing? Man, you rule, buddy. You <laughs> rule, man. Never watch you with the Jays, brother. Oh, it was a fun time up there. I enjoyed it. Never watch you up in Canada, buddy. Yeah, that's right, man. The, the Blue Jays. Yeah, you yeah. play with the Blue Jays. Yeah, that's yeah. right, man. Who do you have most loyalty towards? Which team? Oh, no, no. Let's don't, don't yeah, do let's that. Let's don't go there. Because oh, okay. <laughs> when I went to the Blue Jays, um, I made it clear when I got there, um, I'm here, I'm going to do what I can for you, but I'm always a Met. Wow. wow. How so, did they receive that? They I, would just you know, have... People, you know, when you're honest with people, you'd be surprised how people receive the honesty. Yeah. You know, yeah. Okay, we got to try that. All right. Uh, <laughs> TJ is in Chicago. Say hello to Mookie Wilson, TJ. Go ahead. Hey, Mookie, what's good, family? Hey, how you doing, man? What's up? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm keeping 100 with you. My dad, man, is a a, a real fan. Man, I, I'm not a, a baseball fan. But my dad is a huge fan of yours, man. Uh, He got newspaper clippings. Uh, he went to a couple of your games because he was just stationed out there in the Navy. Uh, one time in uh Canada, and uh, seen you at playing the Blue Jays and all that, man. Uh, he was real, man. He he, he talked about your struggle to me. You know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna copy your book because he told me a lot about you, man. So this is to my dad, man. He, he got my love for you right now, man. Okay, well, give my best, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, the book is Mookie, um, Life, Baseball, and the 86 Mets. Make sure you guys pick that up. We got Heather B. with the Sports Report. Heather, Mookie Wilson is going to be here, so make sure it's, you know it's, he's right here with you. I'm going to try to get it, it right. right. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> well, I got your Sports Report, and I'm going to start with the NBA. 12 games on last night, and I have some of those scores and highlights. The Knicks, they beat the number one team in the East. That's the Hawks, 112-108, improving their record to 17-64. The second best team in the East, that's the Cavs. They got a 109-97 win over the Pistons. J.R. Smith, though, he dropped 28 points. The Nets lost to Chicago 113-86, so they'll need a win on Wednesday against Orlando and a loss by Indiana in at least one of his final two games. They'll play D.C. and Memphis to reach the postseason. My game of the night, though, Sway, it went down to Oklahoma City where the Thunder took on the Trailblazers. Morrow ducks back and grabs his eighth rebound, and now the Thunder can dribble it out. The shot walks off. And Morrow plays to the crowd, high-fiving some across the way. Okay, sees a win away, potentially, from earning a sixth consecutive playoff berth as they get one they had to have against the Blazers tonight. The final at Chesapeake Arena, Thunder 101, the Trailblazers 90. Russell Westbrook, he finished with 36 points and 11 rebounds, all right? Now, I got a quick update before I give you some details on tonight's game. Rocket star Dwight Howard has been investigated regarding an incident from last year in which Howard admitted to authorities that he had hit his child with a belt. 
Well, authorities in Atlanta have declined to charge what? the Houston Rockets center Dwight Howard with child abuse. He was up for child Don't abuse charges. He hit him with a belt? And, and will continue <laughs> to act in the best interest in the welfare of his children. Oh, man, this generation going to be screwed <laughs> I'm up. Just, I'm just you reporting, can't, can't, Mr. You can't Wilson. tap that ass with a belt. He didn't, do it, yeah, he didn't do it with a hand. He did it with a belt. I'm just telling y'all. All right, tonight, NBA action continues with three games on schedule. Series Channel 215 will be covering those games. Moving over to the NFL, we'll have two quick updates. Sway, you'll be happy about this. Wide receiver Michael Cab- Crabtree is now an uh, Oakland, Oakland Raider. Raider. Mm. He signed a one-year deal for $3 million with another $2 million in incentives. So, technically, he's still in the Bay. He's just not a 49er anymore. Staying on the topic of 49ers, former NFL running back Lawrence Phillips, he played for the Rams, the Dolphins, and of course the 49ers is suspected of killing his cellmate in Central California prison. The inmate, a 37-year-old man, his name is Damian Sowett from San Bernardino County, was serving 82 years to life for first-degree murder conviction. Phillips is in prison serving 31 years. He was convicted of twice choking his girlfriend in 2005 and then later on driving his car into three teens after a pickup game in L.A. So they're charging him with a murder as well for murdering his inmate in Mm. prison. You look baffled, but... This is the story. Yeah. Going over the baseball. I have to report it. Going over the baseball. 14 games on last night. The Yanks 6-5 over Baltimore. Colorado shut out. The Giants 2-0. Oh, the Royals remain undefeated at 7-0, beating the Twins 12-3. And the Mets victorious over Philly, shutting out uh, them 2-zip. All right? So go to SiriusXM Citizens for your baseball information on the MLB channel tonight. Mookie Wilson, man, thanks for stopping by, man. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Enjoy. Yeah. Hey, did you ever get weapons with a belt, or was it more like a switch? <laughs> a switch, Just... belt, <laughs> anything within reach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and look how it worked out for him. Worked right? out okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. He learned That's how Mookie. to steal. There it is, man. Learned how to steal. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the book is Mookie Life Baseball and the eighty six Mets. Make sure you pick that up. Um, act, up next, we got Gabriel Iglesias is coming by. Funny comedian. He's going to join us for Celebrity Wire. Yeah, and Drake is finally revealing how he really felt when Madonna placed her lips on him and sucked the life out his soul. Shade 4-5. <laughs> yeah, and you should know that all. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45. <laughs>